The purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. This is a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. I have always seen the concept of giving back to society. It flows through my family blood. And helping a person needy is a part of the same furtherance. Who doesn't want to see others happy and fulfilled? Giving back to the society we live in is itself a great thing to do as it gives immense satisfaction at heart. I love helping and that's why I think I have huge respect for the people who come forward to help others. Now, I have a question for you all. Please raise your hand if yourself or you might know someone who has been affected by COVID-19. Wow, I can see quite a few people putting their hands up. Yes, even if you have been living under a rock, you will know the word COVID-19. Hi, my name is Davina and I'm almost nine years old. COVID-19, a pandemic that has shaken the world by sadness, unhappiness and panic. It's the most talked about situation across the globe in the last two years. But we humans find hope in even the darkest of situations and spread positivity. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk about today. Help in times of COVID. I was born in India, but we lived in the United States of America for about seven years. It was wonderful living there, but we used to miss our family and extended family a lot. My parents kept telling me all the good things about India, its culture, family, festivals, etc. I was quite impressed. I was enjoying my school in the US, going to swimming classes and playing in the park with all of my friends in summer until March 2020. I used to hear my parents talking about some virus attacking people outside the country, especially in China. I had no clue then, but on March 13, 2020, suddenly, there were some directives from the government who told us that the schools and offices would be closed until further notice. I was surprised. How could this happen? We were asked to pick up a laptop from my school so that I could continue schooling from home, online. Actually, I remember the date because that was my birthday and I celebrated it with all of my friends. We ate donuts. Ah, I still remember the taste. But unfortunately, that was the last time I met them in person. We stopped going out to public places, meeting crowds and going to parks. Everything was like a total shutdown for me. I was very much upset about the whole scenario. Soon, we planned for India return and there was a positive scene in India as the cases were down at that time. We moved back to India in April last year, 2021. And as soon as we landed, within a week, my whole family got infected with the coronavirus Delta version. I have never seen my mom and dad sick to that extent. My grandparents were also down. I was shocked, sad and sick, but I was unable to help them. Suddenly, Someone from the society connected to us and told us that we need not worry about things like foods, medicines, and things like snacks, fruits, milk, or even diapers for the baby for another 15 to 20 days. The place I live in has a volunteer group of people called the Local COVID Support Group who help the suffering and isolated people because of COVID-19. As India is digitally progressing, the groups have connected through social media and they kept sending us all sorts of necessary, necessary information about the help that we could get right to our doorstep. It was an unbelievable experience for me. We felt quite relieved. We just needed to fight with the virus. The rest of the needs were well taken care of. These local COVID-19 support groups not only provided patients with essentials, but they also volunteered for a post-COVID consultation. Post-COVID, many people suffered from anxiety and depression, and they provided the much-needed support to be an empathetic listener. You know, these people, these small groups of people taught me that even if you don't have a fat degree and money, you can easily give back to the society. 
Here, I must appreciate the healthcare professionals and daily workers for working relentlessly to keep us safe and secure. I still remember a lady nurse who happened to be our neighbor in the US. She dedicated her days and nights to COVID sufferers. She had to sacrifice her family time for this noble cause. I offered her a flower as a token of appreciation while I was moving back. Coming back to India, I have seen the same scenarios everywhere. Really, doctors, nurses, police officers, and daily workers are working continuously for the betterment of people in need. It is indeed the riskiest job as they are frontline workers. I have seen the police doing duty on the road to avoid the crowd to avoid the spread of the virus by making sure there is no crowd. I have seen the doctors and nurses working day and night in hospitals and cleaners and sweepers making sure that the houses, buildings and we are properly sanitized. Looking at them, I felt so touched, which actually made me think that good people are everywhere. We just need to find the goodness in them. All of the above scenarios definitely made me a more sensitive and empathetic girl towards common people. So, what can you do? You can join any number 1, you can join any such group and provide the same assistance to needy ones. Number 2, if you are one of those who avail such services, then please call them and say a big thank you. Number 3, don't lose hope and spread kindness and positivity. The overall experience I have had in the last year made me think that made me realize that People are very innovative in a crisis situation like COVID. And I'm sure that whenever there is any other crisis situation, I hope not in the future, then we would be more equipped with a lot more innovative ideas to help the people in need. If we all come together and help the needy, then I'm sure we can make a society a better place to live in. Let's work hand in hand. Thank you.